Welcome to Love Bite. I and my wife have been together for six years and married for two years. She has a childhood friend, Dave, who's dating Tessa. Four of us are in the same city and Tessa is also my colleague, same department, and I was the one who set them up. My wife and Dave call me slash o salams. Although I've never had any problems with Dave, I trust my wife and my wife isn't the one to cheat. They have been super close for the past three weeks up to the point where they were whispering into each other's ears, giggling, and every time I'd ask her what was funny, she'd just casually shrug and shoo me away, saying it's a secret. She'd whisper talk to him in the other room, which she never used to do, and she's been frequenting her visits to his cafe Dave owns and runs a cafe. The four of us go on double dates from time to time, and there's also the same situation. They just talk to each other in signs, smile knowingly, and then start acting normal when they'd see me and Tessa watching, and I knew for sure that it bugged Tessa too. Also, me and my wife used to have a healthy sexual life, which decreased from several times a week to once or twice a week. All this and her staying away from me and keeping secrets really strengthened my suspicions. Last week, my department had to go on a business trip for five days, three states away from our city, and I informed my wife about this three days prior. She seemed upset at first, but later, after a quick visit to Dave's cafe, she returned with a smile. And that upset me more. Also that night, I overheard her and Dave talking and planning to go somewhere together. She was surprised to see me there and cut the call abruptly, and I acted like I didn't hear a single thing, even though I was fuming and plotting inside. I went on the trip as casually as I could with Tessa and two other colleagues. Our company had provided us with separate rooms with room service. My mind was filled with revenge plans and I decided that if she, my wife, was enjoying herself, then why couldn't I try a little? The city we went to is famous for its nightlife, so my plan was to complete my work for the day and go out and most possibly bring a girl to our room and y'all know what's next. So I completed my work, changed into casuals, checked out, and went to the bar where I proceeded to chug down a few shots for a good half hour. I could see some girl eyeing me in my peripheral vision and I took it to be my to-go moment. As I was about to approach my would-be AP, I was distracted by a bunch of frantic calls from one of my colleagues about how I didn't submit the project in time and how boss had been fuming at me. I tried to call in my other colleague and even Tessa, but they didn't even budge. Alas, my plan fell short and I had to go back to the room. Luckily, the hotel I was staying at was just 10 minutes away from the bar, and I intended to return to the bar as soon as I was done with my work. All while walking, I was sulking about how I couldn't extract my plan. The moment I opened the door to my room, there was my wife in all smiles who then yelled a big surprise. Also, it was weird for me to not submit my work on time. Before I had a chance to know what was happening, she shoved something in front of my face, and I just got to recognize the two red lines, and the switches just clicked. I don't know what happened next, but all I could remember was both of us kissing and crying tears of joy. My wife was pregnant. Like, my wife is actually pregnant. I forgot all about my suspicions, all about my plans, and that chick in the bar. I hugged my wife for as long as I could and kissed her belly several times. That night, we had an amazing session and my wife was back in my arms. The next morning, Dave and Tessa congratulated me and informed me that they were now engaged and we went on a double date. Later, my wife apologized to me for ignoring me knowingly and keeping secrets and for how they were just planning to surprise me with the news of pregnancy and Tessa with a marriage proposal. Also, she personally apologized for resisting my advances as she was insecure about her body and scared of hurting the baby. She's a scaredy cat. And man, I felt like a gallon of ice cold water being thrown on my face and never in my life was I ashamed as much as I am now for even doubting this woman. We spent the rest of the week enjoying ourselves to the fullest and visiting many places, shopping for baby clothes we couldn't resist, to be honest. We're now back to our normal lives. While I'm the happiest with my wife's pregnancy, I'm still ashamed of my thoughts. God knows what would have happened and where I would be now if my wife had caught me with some random chick that night. On the one hand, I want to tell my wife everything, but on the other hand, I'm scared of her reaction and the possible effects on our baby. She's now almost three months old. I love this woman, she's my wife, and I want to spend my life with her, taking care of her till the end. So y'all, please tell me if it'll be a good thing to just lay myself bare to her or hold my tongue as long as I can. Ick how to phrase this as the matter has turned out to be a new day, a new shit kind of thing. So yeah, going for the majority, I decided not to disclose the shit I tried pulling to my wife. She's more happy and glowing, and now that there's a bump, she's more beautiful than ever. For me, I've actually started going to therapy and it's turning out well. 
The problem is that around a week ago or more, while I was scrolling through my wife's phone, I kind of went to her chats with Dave, I might be an AH for this. Well, y'all know curiosity killed the cat, and here it fucks me over. One particular text caught my eye and it goes like, Dave, do you think we would have been happier if it were just the both of us? My wife, what do you mean? And Dave didn't answer anything but, never mind. This shit has fucked me over like I was a fresh out a recovering addict and there was some kind of free drink for everything going on. Not gonna lie, a hundred scenarios came into my mind, being close to my wife, all touchy, and whatnot. Like, what, actually? Whose genuine buddies would ask if they'd be happier with each other than with their partners? Bless my wife, there are no doubt awakening texts from her side, though I can't say the same about Dave. He was pulling shite, like, how's the baby doing? How are you baby mama? And y'all can call me out on this, but it pained me so much. The literal thought of someone else knowing about your baby before you, someone who might be interested in your partner? I was going to confront him, but I don't know if it'd be the right time to do that. I seriously don't have a clear idea about my wife, but I can say that whatever Dave wants, she doesn't exactly reciprocate it. She doesn't have any friends in town besides him and Tessa and she's been so happy planning everything with them. I think I'm getting back what I'd made her feel in big time. And it's clearly a long path to decide what we're going to do. I can confront him secretly but it won't take long before my wife finds out something is wrong and I am afraid of her condition. I don't want to upset her more nor do I know how to bring this sh asterisk t up smoothly so can y'all suggest your advice? Also, I had dropped the idea of getting a DNA test done, but now a seed of doubt is in my head, so I can't say I'm sure that unless I get a clear answer from both of them in the near future. Also, no, I won't try to cheat on her again. I learned my lesson, and that would be it. Mm -hmm.